Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open four packs of Core Set 2019 for patrons. And up this episode, we have Martin and MTG Things. So as you can see, he's got his signed Jackalope Herd card there. He's a new patron for this month. So thank you both for being patrons. Let's get stuck into it with the pack blessings from Nicole Wallace there. All right, so we'll get cracking for Martin. Good luck, sir. Let's hope we can get you some spicy pulls today. We start off with Anticipate. Anake Oga, Inspired Charge, Highland Game, Two-Headed Zombie, Marauder's Axe, Essence Scatter, Naturalize, Strangling Spores, and for the Uncommons we have Dragon Egg, Gastbark Twins, what the heck? Some sort of tree, oh a tree folk, okay. That's how that works. Knightly Valor, and the rare is a Mythic! Yes, it's Scapeshift. Sorcery for four, sacrifice any number of lands, search your library for up to that many land cards, put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Alright, set that aside. Oh, and a nice foil island here. And a mountain and a beast token. Alright, so the patrons will be getting all the rares, mythics, foils and anything else over a buck. Let's get stuck into the first pack here for MTG Things. Good luck, sir. And we have a tormenting voice. Dwarven Priest. Cancel. Hostile Minotaur. Epicure of Blood. Titanic Growth. Spark Tongue Dragon, Wall of Vines, Luminous Bonds, Marauder's Axe again, and for the uncommons here we have Arcane Encyclopedia, Rupture Spire, Heroic Reinforcements, and the rare is Valiant Knight. So this is a creature human knight, 3 4 for 4 mana. Other knights you control get plus one, plus one, and for three and two planes, knights you control gain double strike until end of turn. Alright, so if you've got a knight deck, that would come in quite handy, and a planes, and a zombie token, okay. There we have it. Martin pack number two. Let's see if we can get something even better than that mythic there, I'm not quite sure. I think that was one of the low end mythics, I could be wrong. But I would have popped up the price in the corner there. Okay, next we have Act of Treason, Daybreak Chaplain, Scholar of Stars, Juress, Giant Spider, Lich's Caress, or Lick's Caress, however you want to say that, Manolith, Take Vengeance, Ghost Form, Electrify, and for the uncommons here we have Leonin Vanguard, Stitches Supplier, Dryad Green Seeker, and what's the rare going to be? Red. It is Banefire, okay, that's a decent pull. Sorcery for X and a Mountain it deals X damage to any target if X is 5 or more. This spell can't be countered and the damage can't be prevented. Sort of a spiky deal there. A bit like the, um, what was that, Scars of Meriden where they had a lot of artifact creatures. Or New Phyrexia, that's the other one. Submerged Boneyard and a Knight Token. Alright, so let's get these over here. MTG Things, pack number two. We need a mythic, Mr. Bolas. Please give us a mythic. Or a foil mythic would be even better. 
Okay, pack number two we have an out of focus card Knight of the Tusk Gearsmith Prodigy Catalyst Elemental Rustwing Falcon Oaken Form Epicure of Blood Strangling Spores Crash Through, and I believe that one was from Armand Kett. Colossal Dreadmoor, I think that guy was from Ixalan, so as you can see, a couple of reprints in Core 2019. Marauder's Axe, and for the Uncommons we have Ether Tunnel. Vine Mare, this guy has Hexproof. Fell Spectre. And the rare is a Magistrate's Scepter. So this is an artifact for three. Pay four and tap. Put a charge counter on Magistrate's Scepter and tap. Remove three charge counters from it. Take an extra turn after this one. So a little bit like that Nexus of Fate, but you can't keep bouncing it back and forth. All right, and an island and an emblem of Tezzeret. All right, so let's go through my picks today. Slim pickings here. Um, I'm going to have to go with Banefire because I am a huge fan of the red aggro decks. And the artwork on this is pretty cool as well. So very nice. That would make a fantastic foil if you've ever seen that one. Alright, and then in the uncommon slot, let's dig through here, see if we can find something interesting. Okay, how about this one? I like the artwork on this. So this is Stitcher's Supplier. Creature Zombie, 1-1 one, one for a single swamp, get a closer look at that one. When Stitcher's Supplier enters battlefield or dies, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Alright, so if you're trying to fill your graveyard with various creatures and then bring them back, you have some sort of synergies that would come in pretty handy there. Okay, and in the common slot... See if we can find something interesting or the artwork even. Uh, that guy could be an option. I'll put him on top just in case I don't find anything else. And then in the other pile here, quickly zip through it. Nothing really leaping out at me. Yeah, so let's. Uh, Take a look at the Spark Tongue Dragon. Focus here, please. Creature Dragon 3 3 for 5 mana with flying. When Spark Tongue Dragon enters the battlefield, you may pay it to an amount, and when you do, it deals 3 damage to any target. Fools believe that Colligan's Brood follows lightning storms. The wise know that it is the other way around. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Always nice to see a dragon. Alright, so leave a note in the comments if you agree or disagree with my picks. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.